Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's been, I think, almost a week since I made my last video, so I thought I'd just jump on here. I haven't got like a lot in the way of an update for you just yet. Um, all I guess all I can say, I'm just going to jump straight into it. Um, all I can say is that I have had a couple of hiccups along the, on, along the ride. Um, I have been talking with a sleep doctor in Brisbane. I'm going to take these off. I can still see. Um, so I've been talking with a sleep doctor in Brisbane about my sleep apnea because it is quite severe. So, um, I mean, I, I kind of almost feel though like it was an, I know I've got sleep apnea. I'm not saying that I don't think I have it because I know I have it. And, and my mum always tells me that <clears throat> my sleeping is really bad. But the lady who I've been talking to, every time I talk to her, she tell she tells me basically like like I feel like she says to me like I'm just gonna I'm gonna die in my sleep tonight sort of thing like that's how bad it is so from my results from my sleep test my sleep study that I did I apparently stopped breathing 150 times an hour and the oxygen saturation levels something like that um, were really bad. Somebody is trying to call me. One sec. Hello. That was just somebody confirming an appointment that I couldn't make for tomorrow because of work commitments. <clears throat> anyway, uh, that's changed. So let's just not worry about that. Um, yes, so I feel like it was an inac inaccurate reading because, okay, so I am a very restless sleeper. Yes, I agree. A hundred percent agree. Um, and I do toss and turn a lot in my sleep now. And I know that, like, I know that everyone tells me that my husband tells me that everyone tells me that. And I, I mean, yeah, <laughs> so, um, I know that. Wait. And anyway, so oh, every time I would wake up um, while I was doing my sleep study, I would wake up and I would have had, I have had pulled something off, whether it be the thing that goes on my finger, the thing in my nose, which I ended up taking off at the end of the night anyway, because I couldn't, it was doing my head in, it was tickling the inside of my nose, it was horrible and I didn't enjoy it. So I took it off and I probably shouldn't have. Um, the ones on my legs came off at the beginning of the night and I could not keep them in one place. Um, I could not keep them in one place. Like they, they just kept falling off. So I just gave up. They were just dangling on down there, like not even attached to anything. And then, then, so what else came off? Oh yeah, the one on my hand, I mean, that came off like I could not keep that on that yeah, belly ever stayed on halfway through oh anyway and I know that's not good I know that's not a good thing but I don't want to admit it to the doctors because they'll be like well that's not good so that's bad so anyway uh, but in saying that also my friend Giselle who has is getting the surgery with me um, has also, I keep hearing weird noises. Sorry. I just had to let my dogs in. Yes, so my friend Giselle, back to what I was saying. My friend Giselle, she, um, had a sleep study done. And the setup that she had was way different to the setup that I had. Um, I'm 
scary. Well, it's a bit scary because it's a shocking photo, but I'm going to put a photo here of my setup um, as I'm saying this. So that that's my setup. That's how I was. I mean, it still looks a bit, mm, and how the hell are you meant to sleep with that, right? Oh, tell me about it. Anyway, my friend Giselle had way more than what I had. Um, but she said she still slept okay. Um, so she had, I think she had one up here somewhere. And that's my dog. One up here on her forehead. So I had one on either side of my eyes. She had one underneath her eyes here um, or here. But she had some in her hair. Like I think she had was it maybe two in her head. Okay, my dogs, they can't make their minds up. They don't know what they want to do. Let's do <laughs> That squeaky noise. Yeah, that's doogie. And, oh, hey, Bells. Come here. So, yes, Giselle had, like, yeah, in her hair she had way more. She had some on her stomach. I didn't have any on my chest or my stomach, nothing. Um, I just had a thing attached to me here and that was it and then I had the two on my legs that was it there was nothing on my chest she had one like on the side of her rib cage or whatever um, like she was like full measured up but like where to put them and like checked where her muscles were and all that sort of thing the lady who put mine on just kind of slapped it on everywhere anywhere she didn't really like measure anything up or anything like that so interesting I I'm wondering and I'm not sure you know I could be wrong I mean it could have been 100% accurate and just different machines do different things but that was another thing so I had a tube going in my nose yes that was so annoying so did Giselle but she also had this other little thing it was a little white thing which was apparently it's an airflow sensor and it's sensors like coming out of the nose and also coming out of the mouth like there's a little she said that wasn't too uncomfortable. I didn't have any of that. Like, I did not have any of that. Um, so, you know, I don't know. I don't know if that was... I, don't, I feel like it wasn't a very accurate reading. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to talk to my doctor um, tonight. Because I do. I've got an appointment tonight at uh, 6-ish with my doctor here in Mount Isa <clears throat> and I'm just going to have a chat with him about that because the sleep doctor in Brisbane is being, I feel like, well, she keeps upsetting me. I get really upset every time I talk to her. I come off of the um, Skype crying um, and yesterday Giselle was in the room, like she was off camera but she was in the room and she's she like, I got off the call and I just burst into tears and she's like, she was really mean. And I'm like, no, but I, you know, like, uh, I, I just don't, it's hard to explain. I don't want to say too much on camera because, you know, I just, well, I just don't. That's, um, but she was very rude and, and like, okay, I, I understand that this is my, my life and my health and I understand that I need to fix myself. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. So, I mean, I've told you guys our dates, which is great. We've got our dates. Um, I have kind of backed off a little bit the shakes. Just um, I'm, I'm going to have to seriously be serious about doing them um, in November or October after I go for my post-op appointment, pre, pre, post, post-op appointment. Um <clears throat> Pre-op. Pre-op appointment. Before. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, yes. So I will have to be very serious about them. And I feel like they're making me a bit sick. So I was, like, super sick yesterday. The day before, I was not feeling well at work. Um, I just haven't been very well, really. And I've noticed it since I've been on those shakes. So I'm not sure what... Is in them that's making me feel this way but I might have to chat with someone about that um, and maybe see what other alternatives there are as to um, a pre-op diet just because 
I, especially yesterday was the worst. I was not great at all. I just vomiting, just yuck. Ugh. Luckily it only lasts one day, but um, it did start to happen a little bit today, but not much, just for maybe about an hour, but that, but that was about it. So, <clears throat> Yeah, that's where we're at. Um, I'm going to have to go and edit this video now. And um, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, guys, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please subscribe. Um, thumbs up if you like it. And um, until next time, keep healthy, guys. Peace. See you later. <laughs>